had that horsepower to stay up and win. Dudley, much more physically, yeah. um, I guess, impressive here at 184 pounds. And Dudley has pinned Kenny Quartz before. Oh, um, yes. And uh, has, has a win over Kenny Quartz. I'm not sure how many times they've wrestled, but um, Kenny Quartz did All-American higher than Dudley last year. But like you said, three one-point losses. Yeah. Dudley did wrestle Magic Man. David Taylor, a friend of mine, in the, in the Midlands Finals in a very close match. So Yeah, he, um, looked, he, he, he gave David all he could handle in that match. <coughs> one, one thing that I, I, you know, as, as a, you know, depending on what hat I'm wearing as a Buckeye fan, you definitely want to see Kenny Quartz not let someone pull your head down and put so much weight on your back. Um, but similar to Julius, sometimes we'll do um, what takes the least amount of energy instead of um, instead of using your energy to keep a great position. Um, is, uh, but very hard to wrestle, very hard to get to. He's good at thumb blocking and staying away and has incredibly um, lethal leg attacks. Uh, very, very talented Kenny Quartz out of Pennsylvania. Dudley, different type of wrestler. Very, very strong um, textbook college wrestler. Yeah, uh, Kenny, I believe, is a three-time Pennsylvania state finalist and a two-time champ, I think. I think, and, and this year as well, Dudley, I think one of his big wins over Nathaniel Brown. Oh, wow. It's really kind of Gabe Dean and then everyone else. Like, yeah. 84 is a really deep weight, but I don't think anyone is going to beat Gabe Dean. You, you can't, you know, nothing's a guarantee, but Gabe Dean is really strong. Well, Gabe Dean kind of shocked the wrestling community when he beat Ed Ruth at the Southern Scuffle, and uh, since then, I mean, he's done nothing short of perform, and, and he's just, um, he's the whole package, obviously. And I believe he only lost by one point to Ruth at, Nash at NCA, so it wasn't like a fluke by any means. Right. So both wrestlers, uh, Good respect here out of both wrestlers. Tying hands. Dudley, I don't know if he's already frustrated, but I can see guys getting frustrated with Kenny Quartz because he is very hard to wrestle, hard to get to. Um, and when you want to impose your will, impose your strength, which Dudley does have a big plus side in the strength category over Kenny Quartz. Kenny Quartz had back surgery, and that's one of the reasons why I say that. I happen to know uh, I wrestled with Kenny uh, quite a bit over the last couple of years. And, um, when you have a back surgery, uh, sometimes you lose some of that core strength. Um, yeah, yeah, I would and, imagine. Um, I think also with uh, some of the, the habits that I think Kenny's working on and, he, and he's improving, and we've got some great uh, minds that are kind of helping him and uh, the Buckeye team with some things outside of the normal conditioning, and, um, weight training, yes. the mental side of wrestling, and also uh, monitoring your levels of uh, cardiac output and. and other things so anyways he does, he does seem like a guy that's really hard to get to his legs he does a good job of uh, keeping them back and yeah and he can counter wrestle too I mean he, he'll he'll I mean, if you if you take a shot from too far away he can uh, he can spin behind you pretty well or reshot right so no one really taken a risk thus far at 184 and that's going to end the, the first period so no one called for stalling, just both guys kind of feeling each other out. No one will, willing to take a risk yet in this match. 0-0 zero, zero is going to be the score going into the second period. Yeah, sometimes it's just a waiting game when you've got two guys that, that know that both goes, both guys are good counter wrestlers. You know, it's just a matter of who can wait it out the longest. <laughs> yeah, and there's uh, there was a shot of uh, the head coach, Tom Ryan. And you saw Ross Thatcher in there, who's a great upperweights coach. Jay Jagger behind the bench and Coach Lou Roselli further behind that. Kenny Course doing his patented roll into a leg attack. Nice gets escape. to his feet and Dudley already in a shot of his own there. But he does earn the escape. The shot from a little too far away. Dudley in the front headlock. Kenny Courts needs to be careful here. Speaking of Tom Ryan, I talked to that guy when I did that, uh, that benefit show for you guys a couple years ago. I talked to him for about an hour after the show. And, yep. uh, just one of the best people God ever made. <laughs> Just a nice person and a, and, a, and a good guy. That's that's well said. I, I think uh, you'd probably have somewhat of a similar feeling if you, if you talk to the head coach of uh, Nebraska, Mark Manning, great guy in himself. But yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, I know Tom much better. Tom is uh, a special person. That's indeed yeah. in, in his character and um, and his heart for people is pretty cool. And his, obviously his passion. Any, any Division One coach 
uh, is going to have what a passion for winning and being not only winning in wrestling but winning in life. So yeah, um, obviously he's been through a tragedy, and, and uh, Tom Ryan uh, is is a special person, and uh, I think the Buckeye family, the Buckeye fans, are, are very happy very, to have yeah. him there. Yeah, very lucky to have that guy. He said something at the NCAA Championships last year about how uh, being a champion is, is being the best version of yourself. And uh, that always kind of stuck with me ever since he said that. I'm like, yeah, that's a, that's a good way to look at it. You know, you're not always going to be the, the best guy. But if you can be the best version of yourself, then, you know, you're a champ. Yeah. Personal development and, and improving on things I think is huge and, and overrated. There's too many people glued to their smartphones and their TVs. Yeah. Um, and I think people, especially kids, need to get out and learn what hard work is and, and reading reading books of people that have been successful and realizing yeah. things and potential you have within you. But uh, here's um, Kenny Courts was worn for stalling and Dudley with a nice duck under attempt. Wow. Nice job. First takedown goes to Dudley of Nebraska. The number, I think, eight ranked number Number five ranked, excuse me, number five ranked Dudley gets that duck under way to keep wrestling. Kenny Quartz, you could see in his position, was more um, there in somewhat of a lull. You know, yeah. he was just kind of staying there and, and not really too much popping his step. Dudley gets that. Gets that nice takedown and finishes the period at top, so two to one, and now has the opportunity to take down to increase his lead. And I believe that's his 23 seconds of riding time. Got that takedown with 23 seconds left. Caution, Ohio State. Caution on Kenny Quartz in the top position. Kenny Quartz, um, tough on top if he can get his lock. I mean, dangerous with a uh, two-on-one tilt. I'm sure it'd be pretty hard to do against someone as uh, studly as Dudley. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> That, that cannot be the first time that's been said. That might be his middle name. I don't know. <laughs> TJ Studley Dudley. Can be. Studley Dudley. Okay. Kenny Quartz there with some fakes now. Obviously, he's looking to get a takedown. Um, and, and, you know, what he if he takes scores, and there's a nice low-level side. He did get the ankle, but Dudley getting unhooked. He got the unhook nicely. Kenny Quartz, there you see the strength of Dudley. Strength is a factor, yeah. Strength is a factor there. And Kenny Quartz losing the battle right now, giving him a takedown. Nice job by Dudley. Almost, almost gave that up because the balance there, but he had enough balance to get back to where he was strong. Caught Kenny Court with the underhook and stopped that shot before he went to his butt. Nice shot by Kenny Court. You saw it coming. I was going to say if he got a takedown, he's going to need two of them, I believe, yeah. because Dudley's going to get out and he's got to finish with another takedown. But so now we're, it's going to be six to one. If he doesn't get out within 10 seconds. Dudley with a kind of a two-on-one of his own, I believe, here. What what makes someone like like Logan Stever? I mean, the guy could turn anybody. How, you know, we all know the same. We know the moves. Like, how, how are some guys so good on top and some guys, you know, aren't? I mean, I don't even know. That, I didn't ask that very well, but you know what I mean? I like, know what you mean, though. Yeah, Logan Stever, uh, I don't know. He's a special case, but... There are some guys that are very, very good at top. And well, I think you're talking about specifically turning. Yeah, absolutely. It's very hard. I mean, you see good wrestlers in high school, my, myself included, turned a lot of people. I pinned many guys with bar arms. You can't really bar arm that many people, unless you're Logan Stever, in college because they're just more developed. They're stronger mm -hmm. in general. Even if they're not that great, they're sh really strong. So right. they're becoming they're much more mature. They're becoming men. Um, these are young men here. And I think that's why turning is more difficult. It's not necessarily that guys aren't as good. Um, but uh, I've heard Logan is just freakishly strong. Logan's much stronger than he looks. That's absolutely true, yes. And there's a, a movement there from Kenny Quartz in the bottom. But um, I didn't mention this earlier, but one thing he does, he, he loves to roll. He doesn't like the power stand-up as much because, again, rolling is a little bit easier um, as far as energy output. But he's to his feet now, Kenny Quartz is, but it's, it's too short a time. Five seconds left. And Dudley does a does, does nice job returning and will win this match. Nice win for T.J. Dudley. Seven to one. T.J. Dudley of Nebraska, the number five ranked wrestler, wins seven to one over Kenny Quartz of Ohio State. So Nebraska with 